suddenly I ended up losing my copy of this book and about a couple of months ago I was in a charity shop and I saw this book and I said oh, it's the Jumblies and I got really super super excited because I love this book because it's a bit silly okay and I love it because it's I like words and I like poetry and things like that and it's got some really good rhyming bits and some really good repeating parts and it sounds a little bit poetic and I like that um has anyone heard the poem the owl and the pussycat the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat has anyone heard that one before it's very famous great well this um, author Edward Lear, he actually wrote that poem. Oh, you're Edward, great. Um, he wrote the poem The Owl and the Pussycat, and you might kind of grasp that there's a similar theme to this book, so I think you'll like it because it is a little bit funny. It's about some people called the Jumblies. They went to sea in a sieve, they did. In a sieve, they went to sea in spite of all their friends could say. On a winter's morn, on a stormy day, in a sieve, they went to sea. And that's them coming out. must be very tiny people to go to sea in a sieve. <coughs> and when the sieve turned round and round and everyone cried, you'll be drowned, they called aloud, our sieve ain't big, but we don't care a button. We don't care a fig. In a sieve, we'll go to sea. Very funny looking, looking creatures, aren't they? Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed away in a sieve, they did. In a sieve, they sailed so fast, with only a beautiful pea green veil tied with a ribbon by way of a sail. To a, to a small tobacco pipe mass. They look like they're having a wonderful time doing a little bit of music on there. It's a good way to spend your time. Everyone said who saw them go, Oh, won't they soon be upset, you know? For the sky is dark and the voyage is long. And happen what may, it's extremely wrong in a sieve to sail so fast. I wonder if we can join in with this bit in a minute. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. The water it soon came in, it did, the water it soon came in. <coughs> so to keep them dry, they wrapped their feet in a pinky paper or folded neat, and they fastened it down with a pin. No one wants cold toes, do they? And they passed the night in a crockery jar, and each of them said, how wise we are. Though the sky be dark and the voyage be long, yet we never can think we were rash or wrong while round in our sieve we spin. Far and few, far and few are the land where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue and they went to sea in a sieve. Look at all the amazing things that they're discovering on their voyage. These lovely creatures, mythical creatures, at these cool volcano kind of things here. That looks like a very exciting island. And all night long they sailed away and when the sun went down, they whistled and warbled a moony song to the echoing sound of a coppery gong in the shade of the mountains drown. Oh, Timberlo, how happy we are when we live in a sieve and a crockery jar and all night long in the moonlight hail we sail away with a pea green sail in the shade of the mountains drown. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the Jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sea. They sailed to the western sea, they did, to a land covered with trees. They bought an owl and a useful cart, 
and a pound of rice and a cranberry tart and a hive of silvery bees. And they bought a pig and some green jackdaws and a lovely monkey with lollipop paws and 40 bottles of rainbow ring and no end of silken cheese. Like to eat some weird things, don't they? Far and few, far and few, on a land where the jungle is in. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sea. You can see all the adventures on this map, all the places that they've been, all the things that they've discovered. Had a wonderful time, haven't they? And in 20 years, they all came back in 20 years or more, and everyone said how tall they've grown. And they've been to the lakes and the horrible zone and the hills of the Shankly Boar. Some very strange places they've been. And they drank their health and gave them a feast of dumplings made of beautiful yeast. And everyone said, if we only live, we too will go to sea in a sieve to the hills of the Shankly Boar. They didn't say that in the beginning, did they? They said, oh, you're dying, that sieve. What a silly thing to do. And now they're wishing they'd been on all those adventures. Far and few, far and few, are the lands where the jungle is live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue. And they went to sea in a sieve. The end. Who liked that one? Funny words and from funny people. I think it's a fabulous book. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, thank you.